not waking up at four o'clock, is it? OD? Where's OD? OD? What are you doing over there? Get out of there. Bad OD. Get inside. We've got a toy show to go to. Get inside. Go, go, go. You're a bad, bad little OD going in the area you're not supposed to with all the plants, huh? You boys already sleeping on the job? You got a toy show to go to. You gotta get up. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I am actually headed to the Cherry Bomb Toys Toy Show. It is called the Ultimate Toy and Hobby Fair. And Odie's right here too. I'm just waiting for a friend to come pick up Dante and Odie so I can go to the toy show for a little bit. You stop it. You stop that now, okay? Hey, Odie, I can't pet you right now. I gotta get pumped up. OD. So this show has sadly been canceled for the last two and a half years for obvious reasons because of COVID. And finally it is starting up again. I'm so excited to see old vendors. I love networking with people. I love meeting new people, making new friends and stuff. And it's always fun to, you know, kind of, you know, delve deeper into the community. So yeah, I got some money. I think I brought a grand total of about $450, $500 Canadian with me. I'm hoping to only spend, you know, maybe like 200 to 300, but let's see how good I do. Oh, and I also have my little McDonald's pouch that I brought with me, my little pouch from my PO box opening. I love this pouch so much. You can fit like, you can freaking fit like three cheeseburgers in here and my keys and my little um, change pocket thing and my hand sanitizer. It's amazing. I love this. I love this. Thank you so much to who's let the hunt begin. How are you doing today? Good, good. Excellent. I was hoping to find a mosquito, but didn't see you guys had one. Well, we did. <laughs> She's always like the first to go everywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes. Awesome. Very good <laughs> well, we can stand here for you if you want. And then uh, you can grab it afterwards. Yeah, yeah no worries. I, I missed on this fourth knock. The uh, Black Terracan Champion. Uh, and how are you being today? Yeah, sure. awesome. I'll move this. Okay. okay, no, sir? Yeah, go ahead. Thank you. You got me. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah.
Hey, Laura Legends. Hello. Legends. <gasps> hi, so we're guys. big fans of you. Oh, can, I, can you say hi to my video? Say hi. Hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. <laughs> what are you collecting? Are you looking for something? Go off to something to get the flip, but I know to throw that stuff a little bit. Excuse me. Yep. How's it going? You made a work on your monster high collection. Preachy. Yeah, this is definitely the place to start it. Eight bucks each, two for 15. Such wow. A deal. That is such a deal. Oh my goodness. Let's take a look at your Beverly Hillbillies again before I leave. I will not touch or look at your dog, but your dog is so cute. Just want to tell you. <laughs> you don't see those too often. Yeah, or in good condition. <laughs> What's the lowest you go on it? It says 140, but what would you? What's the lowest? To 100 for sure. Oh, uh, I'm I'm so frugal, so like I I don't want to you know disrespect you. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm like the shark that tries to get you know the oh, yeah. you tries try. to scoop it up. Try. I know, and if you don't try, then you don't get it. <laughs> These are so cute. Thank you. Oh, wow. <laughs> Classic. Cute dudes, about $5 each. Wow. That is amazing. Wow. Thank you, thank you. I look forward to seeing it. I look forward I to seeing you in it. <laughs> I, will, I will cry if I do it. <laughs> You'll definitely be in it. <laughs> Thank you. Hello, hello again. Oh, this is what I was talking about. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That, that one is... That is what we need to say. Everyone has that. Yeah. I know there... It's weird, eh? Like, some vehicles just... You assume that's pretty much when you... Oh, I didn't see that guy. Sweet. Oh, wow. Oh, that's a good movie, yeah. Oh, it's on the E3 and the uh, five, uh, three for $10. Yeah. Okay, bye. I like your hat. Thank you. You were in the same shirt as last year. Thank you. Oh, baby, I'm going with this. Oh, baby. Oh, 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 baby, I'm going with this. Oh, baby, I'm going with this. Yeah? This is, this is, this is first this is, uh, uh, first appearance Lando. Sweet. Going for it? Yeah. Just don't know what's going on here. Yeah, that's cool. Definitely cool. 
What's the lowest you can go on this guy? I think get 35 on him. 25. Let's do it. Hey, Laura. Big fan of your page. Oh, thank yeah, you. My son's a big fan of your video. Oh, say hi. So just say hi to your boy. Just say hi, son. Hi, Bjorn. <laughs> there you go. Thanks. <laughs> oh, thank you so much for saying hi. Yeah. Have a good night. <laughs> Thanks. Oh yeah, yeah. They're, no, they're actually at a friend's house today. Oh nice. Yeah, so they made it for the early morning ride, but yeah, I wish I wish I could let them in here, but they'd probably destroy everything. Is that supposed to be the rock? <laughs> what? Here. So when you turn it, he goes around like this. Everybody sells them without the accessories, and yeah. like they do. I know that's when they get lost. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they need to have their wallet. Gotta have the accessories. Exactly. Exactly. I hate selling stuff without accessories. I know. I know. But some of the old toys, you just can't find them. I mean, they're just impossible. Ew! What is this? That's some yellow submarine, the Beatles. Ew! Oh, yeah. oh dear. <laughs> oh, oh dear. Oh. Yeah, like that's, that guy. Uh, that's no. Jeremy. I don't like he him. Is he a villain? No, he was a oh. friend of the Beatles. <laughs> oh. Oh, how dreadful. <laughs> yeah, there, there. Yeah. 
Oh, no. It's an interesting it's watch. Nightmares are made of. <laughs> yeah. I never had the. I never actually saw the power loader anywhere. Yeah, yeah, it's and, the, really and it didn't one. come with Ripley. Like the power loader came just as the power loader. It's kind of yeah. a rip off, right? Um, Jody, Laura Legends. Oh my God! Nice to meet you. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Serial Jody on Instagram. Serial Jody. Yes. Okay, so I'm doing my last little round here and doing some filming. Um, it's been so amazing seeing everybody again, seeing all the old tables, all the old vendors, and everyone's exactly like where they used to be. It almost feels like COVID didn't even happen. It was so awesome. Um, got to meet a whole bunch of new people and subscribers from Instagram and YouTube. So I think I'm gonna head out right now, just do my last round, and then we'll call it a day and I'll show you guys what I got. Can you tell me what your channel was again? Uh, Sharky Bites. Sharky Bites. It was so nice to meet you. Did you get anything else since I last saw you? Oh my god. Uh, oh nice. Is that from the lady in the corner? Oh no, it was somewhere else. Oh nice. Okay, so I am headed out. Ah, fresh air. What a pleasant experience. That was really, really fun. It's so nice to get a toy hit after all these years. Actually, this like built-in desk here in my room that Dante and Odie sleep on to look outside the window but today I'm using it as a toy review desk so um, first first off I'd like to introduce my fanny pack that I was using during the um, toy show it was a fantastic fanny pack got lots of compliments on it and it was perfect to put like little toys as well as you know putting your camera and phone and you know, your Tic Tacs and your little extra scrunchies and hand sanitizers. So this was fantastic. This was from a P.O. Box video that uh, just recently I opened. Um, I still have to finish editing the second half of the P.O. Box. So that one will probably be, that video will probably be after this one. Um, I know I was supposed to be posted a bit ago, but you know, the headaches. Um, and it was funny in line, I was chatting up to my two line buddies and um, he was like, oh, I like recognized you because of your fanny pack. And I was like, oh my God, no way. So this fanny pack definitely came in handy. So shout out to my two line buddies who, you know, made the time pass by like, woo, because I think we were there like a good almost 40 minutes, 30, 40 minutes prior to opening. So oof, time flew, time flew talking to you guys. Number one is this giant Jar Jar Banks and apparently he's a clock. Yeah, apparently he's a clock for some reason. I don't really understand because like, he doesn't really have like a clock face and I don't even know how it's at the time. Very big soft spot for Jar Jar Banks. You know, everyone like doesn't like him be like, oh, he's so stupid, blah, blah, blah. Like, I, I, I like Jar Jar Banks. I think he's really cute and I think he's just very misunderstood. So I really do have a soft spot in my heart for Jar Jar Banks. So 
Um, yeah, I got this guy for 10, and remember all these values are in Canadian, by the way. So I got this guy for $10 Canadian. It has like set hour alarm, blah, blah, blah. But like, how am I supposed to see what it is if this is on? Maybe he'll speak to me? Maybe I'll be like, set alarm. He'll be like, me saw alarm set. And I'll be like, doing the time. He's like, one, two, three, four. I don't know, who knows? We'll have to put some batteries in him and see, see what happens. Lights are long time start now. What did you say? The hour alarm is on. To set hour, press the yellow button. One, two, three, four, five, six. To set minute, press the yellow button. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight. Time is at six or eight p.m. There you go, Odie. It's a alarm clock. Oh, that sounded Italian. <laughs> and then next up for $15, for $15 Canadian, I got a um, Pokédex. Not too sure if it's working or anything. You know, I got to unscrew, unscrew these guys, but I mean, it's a pretty cool display piece. I actually don't think I have a Pokédex. I have a bunch of Dino Dexes um, from Jurassic Park. But I don't know for sure if I have a Pokédex, so I just grabbed one because I saw it, and it was from a great vendor. I think I paid five for it, if I'm not mistaken. I think I got like in a bundle. So this is this is a Sky Dancer. It's actually not one of the original ones. This is like kind of like a newish Sky Dancer. But I've always wanted to try to find because I grew up with Sky Dancers. I really really enjoyed playing with them. Me and my brother, we get into all sorts of trouble with our Sky Dancer. Well, it's my Sky Dancer, but my brother would play along with me as well. But this one actually like it has like a feature where it's like more heavily weighted or something so it doesn't go up as high so let's see if you can do right here see like it doesn't go up that high and if you really want it to go up high I think you could really like that's as high as it can really go so which sucks you know for me but I guess it's good for children nowadays that want to play with the sky dancer but I'm always on the lookout for my sky dancer my sky dancer was blue and it had like a little dolphin base and so I'm always trying to find an old school Sky Dancer, but it's nice to bring, you know, a Sky Dancer into the collection. Then I got a Donatello ring. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I found him. So if you guys remember from my Ninja Turtle collection, I actually kind of have like a bunch of these rubbery rings kind of displayed on my front collection, but I don't have Donnie. So when I saw it, I was like, yes, sunny need Donnie. Um, and these were from 1990 Mirage Studios. So I think I paid like four, three or four dollars for this one. So, so really happy to add him to the collection. I actually, forgot what turtle I was missing. So I was standing in front of the booth watching my video and I'm like scrolling through to see um, my Ninja Turtle shelf. See, that's why it pays sometimes to, you know, document your collection and have it online. Because then when you are at a store or you're at a toy fair or something and you're forgetting something, you're like, wait, what one did I have duplicates of? Or what one do I need? And then to go along with the Sky Dancer, I grabbed this guy. I think it ended up being like, six dollars or something um from the same sky dancer booth but this is a piggy bank and i thought it was just really cute looking and i love this scene of simba and um mufasa on there so I, I just i love lion king very much it's definitely my favorite disney movie okay next up we have some mad max goodness um so it says complete 1993 mighty max battle cat um so i got this for i think i think it was 25 dollars. i got this for 25 dollars um, so it opens like this and like this, wait, yeah, I think, I think this opens too, doesn't it? Yeah. So it opens like this, like this, and it's pretty weird. It's pretty weird. So it's like, it's been impaling, you know, cavemen or dinosaurs or something. And then it's got this caveman with blood on the rock. So it's like, it's been squishing like people, sacrifices, or trying to kill this mammoth. And I don't really understand what's going on over here at the top of this like staircase. To me, it looks like a blood sacrifice head or something, but everything that's red gives me concern that there's violence going on. It's a pretty interesting uh, little place out there. I mean, you know, it, it is the Polly Pocket equivalent for boys and stuff, but I'm sure Polly Pocket ain't this violent. Um, so this one was pretty funny. Well, not funny, but it was pretty entertaining. So we did have a Max in here. So there was, there was a little Max figure in that one. 
got that for $25. There was actually quite a lot of Mighty Maxes out there, you know, all ranging from, you know, complete to incomplete, but you know, Mighty Max, it's a really, really cool toy line. Um, okay, let's figure out how to open this one. Oh, there you go. Okay, cool. Okay, so this one, this one, this comes out. Then we have, whoa. Then we have like this thing. Oh, and there's also a bad guy on the on the bottom here. So there's th this guy, and then there's Max, right up here up front. Man, Max has a lot of fun adventures, hey? And then this guy, this creepy guy, that probably wants to kill Max. So it's kind of like Cape Fear, but aquatic scorpion style. And this guy's riding underneath the scorpion like that, waiting for Max, waiting for Max to come out. Uh-oh, he died. And also go like this. And then there's another area where Max can sit up here. Man, what a fun like playset with lots of little, lots of little fun hidden things to do. Like that, yeah, there we go. Like it all fits in this little thingy. Aren't these fun? These are super fun. Okay, and next up, it's gonna get a little trolly in here. A battle troll, and these guys are from Hasbro from 1992. And these are really fun because there are so many, and they were really trying to appeal to boys um, because the um, troll craze was kind of more so directed towards girls. So they wanted to make them kind of like more appealing to boys. So they came out with battle trolls and stone protectors, which we'll see in a second. So with these guys, there's all sorts of different skews. There's like robotic troll, uh, battle trolls. There's, um, army, pirate. There's case in point, like knights. Um, but this guy seems to be all completely covered head to toe in armor. But I mean, he's got that, he's got that little problem right there. And someone should have told him to cover up those toesies. That might be an issue. And then next up we have the um, stone protectors, which um, are pretty neat. So look, it's got a fun little haircut up here and um, it's got a jewel right here and it has a little flint mechanism in it. So when we move our arm, shoot, it's not gonna work, is it? This flint might be, oh, there we go. Here we go. There. That was the other arm. I was like, no, the flint's gone. So the thing that the thing about these guys is that the flint mechanism will wear down eventually, right? So this guy still has a little bit left, um, but he looks like to be some sort of like uh, army camo guy of sorts. So I got this guy for ten dollars Canadian. I got this like in a big bag of things. I think I paid like twenty five dollars for a bunch of things, and this guy was included. So I'll actually just go through that lot, I guess, that I got for like twenty twenty five dollars. So I got the stone protector. I got these two supernatural figures. The only unfortunate thing is that this guy is missing an arm, but I can also just take him out and have him like this. I actually can't really tell what this is. To me, it looks like there's one face, like around right, right around here or something, and it's just like all ghosty pattern looking. I'm not too sure, but there's this guy, um, and they both actually come with a sword as well. So I do have um, one of these supernaturals as well. So you know what, I can kind of just like, Display him like that. <laughs> um, and then let's see what this guy is. Ghoulie creature walking like a, looks like he's walking a face hugger, but he's walking a scorpion. And I don't know, I think he's like some sort of like lizard guy or something. If you can see that, you probably won't be able to see that with my glare. So this was all part of the $25 deal. So, ah! So this is all part of the $25 deal. The two uh, Supernaturals, the Stone Protector, and then we got these guys as well. Dino Riders, just to add him to my collection. I don't know if I have this guy like with his gold pants, so I just decided to grab him. And then, oh, what was this guy called? What was this guy called again? What was this guy called again? Was it, it's not, it's not Tendril. What was it called? It's gonna, it's gonna eat me. It's gonna eat me. Oh, Lice Plant, it's Lice Plant. I think it's Lice Plant. Um, yes, yes, it is Lice Plant. Good job, Blair, good job. This is Lice Plant from the Trash Bag Bunch from 1991. And I did a video all about these guys um, because to me, they were almost kind of like the first bland, bland the first blind bag toys. So the fun thing about this line is that it would come like in a garbage bag. Like it looks like a little green garbage bag that's tied up and you put it in water and then it will kind of fizz and bubble out and it will reveal um, a toy like from the trash bag. And um, so this is one of those little tiny figures, the lice plant. And it's cool because I also have a large version that someone actually made. He, he sells them. I did a video on those as well. And now this can go with my big ones. So that's amazing. And the last thing from this uh, $20, $25 deal, these are called 
Eglians. They're called Eglians from the 80s. And I actually have never seen these before. I've never heard of these before. So these are little terrifying tiny eggs that seem to have like a space twist on them. One of them has a gun. I don't know, one of them might be like a Jehovah's Witness or something asking you to like uh, talk to them for a bit. I don't know, but like, it's such a cute line and I think it's adorable. So I, I just, I wanna know more about these. Rare, vintage, Eglian, PVC, super hard to find. Oh, these are from Applause. They're from Applause. Okay, I thought I said Appliance, but it says Applause. Definitely gonna look more into that line, like wondering if there was like, you know, maybe a failed cartoon series. Maybe there was a cartoon series or I don't know, or a comic book or something, but they look very interesting to me. And I'm sure that there is all sorts of these, you know, different colors. Oh, and then also this guy was included, uh, Zach Neutrino, I included him in the lot of 20 25 dollars as well couldn't pass them up i don't have them in my collection yet so just wanted to add him and then from 1985 from telepix telepix toys got this little snarf for four dollars canadian um i was quite surprised there wasn't a lot of thundercats figures this time around there was actually a lot of new thundercats figures but not old thundercats figures um but speaking of thundercats figures <gasps> so this is Mongor. I got him for $10 and he is an original Thundercat from 1987 by LJN Toys. And he does have that battlematic action with his arm here with a little lever in the back. He is missing his large sickle accessory, his weapon. And um, the last time that I went to a toy show, I think it was like maybe two toy shows ago or something, I ended up getting this guy and I think I had to pay like 60 or $80 for him, if I'm not mistaken. So when I saw him for $10, I just couldn't pass him up. Even even though I already have one, I'm like, oh, I can't, I just can't pass up a Mongor, like an original Thundercats Mongor for, for $10. It's insane. So um, unfortunately, no accessory on him. I will be on the lookout for a large, his large sickle um, weapon, but very cool. Hey, he is a, he is a very unique Thundercat. And I, I think I said cat. <laughs> He's very unique Thundercat. So if you guys have ever watched any of my older videos, you'll know that I've done things like, oh, you know, seven weirdest toys from the eighties, 10 weird toys from the nineties, all that kind of stuff. Um, Savage Mondo Blitzers is in there. And these are actually from Kenner from 1992 Hasbro Canada. And, um, so these guys are just super, super like obnoxious toys, um, really aimed at boys for sure. And, um, they have like the weirdest names. They're kind of vulgar in a way. And, um, so it's all these like gangs of these, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say motorcycles cause these are kind of just like motorized platforms that they're on. Um, and they have weird names like, um, the dudes of disaster, the chunk blowers, um, the puke shooters gang, uh, the brains not included gang, concrete breakfast gang. It's just like all these weird things. And they have names like shark bait, barf bucket. Um, what else do they have? Bad fart. I find them as amusing as heck, but I mean, you know, maybe not the best thing to give your kids. These like weird, violent toys. So these are from the chunk blowers gang. So we have Tyrannosaurus Rex Axe. So it looks like he's got a um, little ax with him. Then we have here a loaded diaper with a kind of a gun. And uh, and yep, of course the baby's smoking. That's okay. That's what happens when you're in the chunk blowers gang. And then we got direct hit right here, this like singer person. And then we have big hands and it's spelled H-A-N, like H-A-N-S, like Hans. So it's big Hans. So, I mean, I just had to get this. And I the art on here is pretty cool too. So I like it, I like it a lot. I like it a lot. So hopefully if you guys haven't seen that video yet, I will maybe leave a link in my in my top here so you can watch it because it is pretty interesting. Okay, home stretch here. So I did end up getting a street shark toy, specifically a slobster. Um, he is not really a street shark. He is part of the Seaviets. He's part of uh, Dr. Piranoid's crew. And this is from Streetwise Designs in the 90s. And um, the reason I got this guy, I actually already have him, except my guy does not have his antennas. And most of the time this guy is sold without his antennas so when i saw it i was like i have to have it because i want one that's kind of completed and then he's got his fun little claw that opens and closes when you um squeeze his legs and next up i got this for 15 dollars. i got this box lord of the rings character i really do like the evil characters in lord of the rings and i actually don't have this little orc warrior so i wanted to add him to the collection and you can see he's got like a little bow and arrow and 
all his fun little features there in the back. And then for $60, I ended up getting this World of Warcraft Lich King. And it's pretty uh, funny because the new, you know, Lich King expansion is coming out soon. And I, I really do hope to play that a little bit. Um, but this is the, um, the Lich King Deluxe Care Collector figure. And this is from Blizzard. I do have a World of Warcraft collection already brewing and I, I, I love it. Like every time I pass the shelf, I'm like, oh, like fixing the figures and kind of like posing them and stuff. But I really do love these figures. They're really cool. In case in point, this Lich King looks absolutely badass. Like, look at that. He's got this nice big flowy cape. He's got that huge sword. His armor looks really cool too. So, I mean, how fitting is it, you know, that the Lich King expansion is coming out and I got the Lich King. So thanks mark my brother mark was actually at the toy show and he pointed that out he's like oh that's pretty cool on the shelf and then i'm like yeah that is pretty cool i want it it was a really nice surprise to walk out with a giant giant lich king and last but certainly not least we got a ripley in her little power loader isn't that so cool so it is missing a few things it's missing the main missile over here that you can shoot um it's missing a little gun attachment right here off the side as well as one right here but you know what it looks pretty good without it you can't really tell it makes a great display piece and um you know i've always wanted to get my hands on this i've always you know thought of just grabbing it off ebay or something but hey i saw it it was right in front of me i can't wait to put it with my alien collection so this is from kenner from the 90s. So thank you all so much for coming with me along to the toy show and staying for the after show and seeing all the things that I ended up getting. It was a really fun toy show. So once again, thank you so much to Cherry Bomb Toys for, you know, putting this on finally after, you know, a two and a half year hiatus due to COVID, obviously. Um, and also thank you to all the people that I got to network with and say hi to and see what you were getting and you know, seeing some of your collections actually on your phones. And it was just so lovely talking to you guys. I wish I could just like spend a day just talking to everybody. Um, so yeah, so in the comments down below, I'd love to know what your favorite item was that I got. I know that's gonna be a popular one. So don't all you go putting Jar Jar and spamming Jar Jar in the feed because I know he's gonna be a hit. <laughs> um, poor Jar Jar, we love him, we love him here. So please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. I come out with new videos every week. Come check me out on social media and help support the channel on Patreon. So thank you all so much for watching and stay legendary. <laughs>